I got a Hawaiian lap steel guitar on my lap by my parents as a toy. I used to live in a village where there was no electricity. And people used to wake up at 4.30 with the sun and they used to finish their all day work by the sunset. So guitar was the only affinity for me as a friend or a toy a six-string lap steel Hawaiian guitar. My father got it from a friend. But I was already learning Yaman, Bhairav, Bhairavi, Bhupali, Bageshri, all these ragas by singing. My parents are singers, but not by profession, by practice. So as I took that instrument, I started learning Sarigama Pathanisa, and then I started playing national anthem in, in a week. Then I started picking up all the Vividha Bharati songs from 60s Bollywood songs, Muhammad Rafi, Lata Mangeshkar. And my father thought that he's so good in this, let me help him to learn ragas. So he used to sing and I used to look at his face and just following his soundscape of the voice and nuances. And start to mimic on my 16 guitar. But when I came to Kolkata from that village, I heard Usad Ali Akbar Khan, Padid Ravi Shankar, Usad Bilayat Khan Sahab, Usad Amir Khan Sahab, uh, and all other great legends. And I heard actual Indian classical nuances of voice and instrument. And I went back to my friend every day because that was a friend whom I could speak in the language it understands. And I was sharing my all inspirations and all the experiences of listening to those great masters live in Kolkata concerts. And I talked to her and she said, I don't have those soundscapes, my dear. Do something on me. Give me something more. So from that age, I started working because she is my first love and my last love. I loved her so much. I loved her openness. I loved her acceptance. Whatever I pluck, she just immediately give me back those frequencies. Whatever I wanted to play, she just sat on my lap and she responded instantly. And I fallen have I fallen in such love and I started finding the emotion and passion to give her an Indian voice. And I started learning from different teachers of Calcutta and they gave me instructions, musical instructions, techniques. But that, not the technique or instructions can make her sound like the sound I want or she wanted. She wanted to be Christian as a Hindu instrument. She is a Christian instrument. She comes from Europe, from America, from Hawaii. So I started talking.
talking to her, I started talking to myself, exploring more and more every night. In 1978, I came up with a design, writing with Alta. You know Alta? Yeah. Women wear red. red. So I put a stick and a little cotton and put in the bottle and started drawing on newspaper, Ananda Bazaar, Bengali newspaper. As a 15 years old boy, that was my first trial to create something like that. And then my father took me to to a guitar company, which is not anymore there, called Gibton. So I went to them and I showed them my thoughts and my imagination and my passion. I started playing that. I remember that evening, I was playing a little boy on a high tool. My legs were hanging like that. And uh, they had actually a traffic jam on the tramway in the Park Street area. And then the owner got me some rasgullas and asked his maker, his owner, he doesn't make guitar, he's not luthier. So he brought the luthier and he saw the ideas and he said, I can make the structure, but I don't know if it will sound whatever you are thinking of. So like a three, four weeks later, I went there and he, he made an amazing a sound box according to my vision. And he put all the strings I arranged, the chikari yeah. rhythm strings on the front on a piece of wood, extended to the front, and then six strings, one, two, three, four, five, six, then two supporting strings with a drone like Tanpura, Ched, Ched Kitar, Ham Jisko Kate. And then 12 resonating strings towards my, uh, towards my side. He did everything, but it was not sounding well. Then one of my brother, he's an engineer, he used to live in Bhavanipur. He knows, uh, he used to live the upstairs of a shop called uh, Kishori Noshkar, the great Tanpura and Sitar maker. So he took me to Bhavanipur at his shop. And that guy heard me, that old elderly man heard me playing. And he said, so what can I do to do for you? I said, the chikari is not sounding right. You have to post it perfectly so that my finger picking can really pluck from high and low sound together. They have to be this. So all these things I have started doing for one year. And then 78 December, I had my first chaturangi, 24 stringed. So the name I kept chaturangi is a Sanskrit word. Chatur ang or chaturang. You can split in two different ways, whatever you like. And Gi, I kept it because it's the first three letters of guitar. G-U-I. So Chaturangi Gi, Chaturangi. The most important thing of this thing of this instrument is it is cultural, culturally Indian, but it is culturally global too. You can play anything. Jazz, blues, Hawaiian, Tagore songs. Indian classical, Western harmonies, everything you can play if you know how to handle it.